Hey guys, Zot here with another arena walkthrough. Today we're going to be looking at what top Boonkins do in currently their strongest comp for Boonkins, and that's when paired up with Windwalker and either a Disc, Restoration Shaman, or Mistweaver Monk Healer. First, Let's take a look at the strengths of Boonkin in this composition, and why they are so good when paired up with a Windwalker. There are three main strengths Boonkin bring. These are, number one, instant damage. Boonkins have access to a lot of single target damage, meaning on setups they can pump damage without easily being shut down. This comes from their dots both being instant, as well as Star Surge and Lunar Strike with a proc, resulting in even when being trained, your setups are still going to be deadly. Number two, crowd control. On top of their instant damage, Boonkins also bring a lot of crowd control, with Root Beam and Cyclone. Synergizing well with the high single target pressure Windwalker provides, you can easily score kills inside of crowd control chains. Number 3. Defensive Play Windwalkers don't really bring much shutdown anymore, with the nerfs to both Paralyze and Fist of Fury stun. Windwalkers take the role of a damage bot. They can no longer excessively peel for their teammate, so need a teammate who can survive by themselves. Thanks to Boonkin's defensive cooldowns and the ability to sit in bear form, it enables them to live setups other classes would for sure die. Okay, so in this game, we're going to be looking for three main points. Instant damage, crowd control, and the ability to play defensive. Alright, let's get into a game. In this game, we're going to be watching Sam I Am, this year's BlizzCon winner, who's going to be playing with his team Method Orange up against an RMP. Straight from the start of the game, they're looking to play defensive. With Sam likely to be the kill target, he sits inside of bear form for the opener. As this is an RMP, they will always get the opener, so sitting inside of bear form is always the play. As the enemy pops their two strongest offensive cooldowns, he opts to skin. This is a great trade to make, and due to sitting in bear form, he is able to survive until he's out of the stuns. Being caught in moonkin form or cat would have sure forced more cooldowns. Once he's out of the stun, he uses his frenzied regeneration stacks and then judges the enemy's damage to see if he needs to use Renewal or not for this situation. Now that he is at a stable amount of health, it's ready to turn the tides. He instantly then looks for crowd control onto the enemy healer. Sam follows up with a root beam out of his monk's incap. As they have the crowd control, it's time to deal some damage. So Sam pops his incarnation and begins spamming his instant damage onto the mage, inside of a leg sweep with his windwalker. forcing block almost instantly. So, this game has gone completely 180. This is one of Boonkin's strengths that we mentioned earlier. With its damage and crowd control being for the most part instant, you are able to quickly turn the tides and go from playing defensive to full aggressor. The strength of this comp also lies in the fact Monk also provides very strong single target damage, a stun and a mortal strike debuff. Once the block is forced, Sam then continues the crowd control chain, cycloning the priest twice whilst the mage's block expires. As this comp is mostly single target, instead of swapping to the rogue, it's a priority to keep extending your crowd control chains. With the mage barely surviving the damage, Sam does what top boonkins are always on the lookout for, and that's cycloning a target when they're low. Especially in compositions like Windwalker Boomkin, where the majority of your damage is again, as mentioned, single target. Cycloning the target to prevent heals is a great way to extend your CC chains until your diminishing returns are back. After a paralyze and leg sweep onto the priest, thanks to the low cyclones on the mage, cyclone diminishing return is already off on the priest, so Sam can once again look for cyclones onto the priest. Now look here, the enemy team has pretty much recovered. Sam has no root beam, so the only crowd control he can get onto the priest is cyclone. But with the rogue cyclone ending soon and his healer being inside of a polymorph, what do you think he should be doing here? Should he be looking for crowd control, doing damage or playing defensive? Well, the answer is simple. However, Sam makes the mistake of looking for crowd control as he goes in travel form and heads towards the priest. What he should have done here is already have been in bear form, playing defensive, as their kill window is now over and he has no instant crowd control left. This forces his bark skin and cocoon, when if played smarter would have barely been any defensive forced. However, now Sam's got his solar beam up, so now is the time he should be looking to play aggressive, landing the crowd control so he can in turn do his instant damage. He once again root beams the priest as the mage is again stunned, a standard setup for Boomy Windwalker. This forces the trinket out of the priest instantly. As Sam was going for a clone, it also forced the barrier.
Forcing these defensive cooldowns out of his opponent means the enemy once again survived the setup. So Sam should instantly get back into bear form and play defensive, as the rogue kidney shot is almost off cooldown. As you can see, just the instant crowd control and then instant damage is enough to force cooldowns out of the enemy. However, Sam once again makes the mistake of not playing defensive and instead looking for more crowd control. With the go over, it was a pointless decision and almost cost them the game, barely managing to survive the enemy's setup. But when I mentioned the strengths of Windwalker Boonkin, it was instant damage inside of stuns with instant crowd control on the healer. With the Rogue and Priest both trinketing early in the opener, this however opens up an opportunity to swap to the Rogue. So, they once again do their standard setup of in-cap into root beam on the Priest while stunning the Rogue. Take a look at Sam's astral power. He has a full bar and a lunar strike proc from Alkin Frenzy. So they make short work of the Rogue even without incarnation. So to summarize what you should be doing as a Boonkin in this composition, it's quite simple. Play defensive until you can set up your kill windows. This should involve a root beam or cyclone onto the healer out of a monk paralyze. During this crowd control chain, you should have built up astral power and have instant damage ready for the go. After the root beam, look for any follow up cyclones to extend the kill window. So number one, play defensive when required. Number two, land instant crowd control. Number three, save instant damage for setups. And lastly, number four, extend crowd control chains with cyclone when available. All right guys, that's just about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.